So the general sentiment right now around this game, if you're wondering, I mean, that's usually what happens around this time. As soon as the week hits, it's what are your predictions, right? Who's Vegas got? What's everybody thinking? Who's winning the games this weekend? And outside of the Bills games, it's who cares, right? Who's winning this game Thursday night? Well, if you want to give Vegas their due, you know, their due, because they're more often right than not. There's a reason those casinos are multi-billion dollar establishments. This line has swung more than I anticipated. When this game first was announced, however many months ago, the Bills opened up at minus one, which in and of itself is impressive. I'll remind you again, I said this a long time ago, but it still rings true as of right now. The Bills are not an underdog in a single game this entire year. And I want you to soak that in because I don't care how good any team is. That is just unheard of. That is incredible. And that that just goes to show you, they opened up at minus one against the reigning champs in their house, you know, night one. And I thought that that was going to, swing a bit and it did it went to rams minus one and then it kind of went to a pick them and it stayed around there it swung back to bills minus one the money's coming in on buffalo the bills have jumped all the way up to minus two and a half they have more than doubled the opening spread and i know it's marginal but still If you're a gambling man, and I don't know how many of you are, but the difference between one point and two and a half points when it comes to gambling is night and day. It's night and day. And as the game approaches here, they are now two and a half point favorites on the road. And that just goes to show you, you know, when it comes down to what happens on the field, it doesn't mean squat. When it comes down to the public sentiment, when it comes down to showing you what the money's on, what the people think, the people are riding Buffalo this week. The people are riding Buffalo, and that is what the general consensus is right now. And even I, I got to tell you right now. Hold on one sec. <laughs> Just thinking about it. I wouldn't touch this game with a 10 foot pole. As far as gambling is concerned, I wouldn't touch this game with a yardstick. One, I don't need more of a heart attack than I think I'm already going to have on Thursday anyways. I mean, you, I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, Abigail coming in. You God bless you, Abigail. She's saying Bill's 34-17. Look, look, if I can go into the fourth quarter, if the third quarter can come to a close and the Bills are up 27-10, I mean, and I can just kick back, no stress. You know, I'm not pacing, I'm not sweating, I'm laughing, I'm having a good time. Sign me up, Abigail. But I think we all know that that probably ain't gonna happen. I think that we all know that this kind of has the writing on the wall here, doesn't it? This game really doesn't strike me as it's that it's gonna be run away with by either side. I'd be shocked. Back to my point I was talking about earlier as far as expectations, too. If the Rams run away with it, back to the drawing board. I'm sorry. The Bills shouldn't have any team in the league run away with with anything against them this year. Obviously, stuff happens, right? The Bills were not the Bills that played the Jaguars last year, right? We get that. Stuff happens. But this game's different. You can't go out and do that week one. You know, something happens in the middle of the year. Somebody goes down, they get hurt. You have an off week. You know, you, you lose by two touchdowns. To, I don't know, the Vikings. And you already had a good year up until that. And you bounce back right after. Yeah, we get it. It's the NFL. It's week to week. Anything happens. For Christ's sake, like I just said, for Christ's sake, Urban Meyer beat Josh Allen, Sean McDermott, and the Buffalo Bills. Okay? I mean, it's just like, what do you, what, what do you even say? What do you even say? You play that game a hundred times. The Bills win at 99, and we witness the one that the Jaguars walk away with. This game to me, though, I just think the writing's on the wall, and I think I would be just beyond mind blown if one side or the other runs away with it. But to the expectation point I was talking about, if the Rams run away with it, look out. That to me is going to be a real big, real big red flag. How do you come out week one 
that Thursday night with those expectations, with the roster you have, with the formula that you have crafted all offseason to equal out to Super Bowl caliber. If you go out and get rolled, you're, that is that is as bad as it could possibly be. I don't care what happens the following week. That, to me, is going to prove it. That's going to show me a lot. I'd have to really get a lot of trust gain back over multiple weeks' time if the Bills get rolled. I would. I really would. I mean, you can't go out the following week and roll Tennessee and prove to me that week one was was an aberration. You just can't do that. You cannot get rolled in this one. Now, on the other hand... You go out and you absolutely flatten the Rams. Oh, you are, you you think I'm loud and energetic and, and fired up now. And, and every time you tune in here, you better, you better turn your speakers down next week. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I don't even know where I will begin if that happens. Because I'm telling you where my mind's going to be if this winds up being a good game. And, and if the Bills wind up winning, I mean... I'm telling you right now where my mind's going to be. You don't even want to know where I'm going to be if they wind up rolling. 